Good afternoon and welcome to Monday on Bad Dog Comedy TV, live on YouTube and Ayaka's Kitchen. Now, please give it up for your host, Ayaka! to run away again but it's okay it's alan's birthday happy birthday alan the cat lisa's cat hi i'm ayaka nice to see you again everybody today i have yes i, I keep saying it i have lisa today this lisa over and then it's lisa's cat alan's birthday so we are gonna celebrate with a bunch of sushi and laughter and all the love that we can give to lisa and alan so let's invite her over lisa hello <laughs> i uh, forgot my uh crown of bread oh it's okay it's uh it's my head now it's my head oh i like it it's very oh. nice it's tasty <laughs> when, when, when i'm hungry i just like break it off and eat it Oh. It's called it's called cannibalism. Oh, breadalism. Breadalism. Yeah, breadalism. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Ayaka. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, thank you for coming over. And how's Alan doing? A birthday boy. Alan's good. I just heard the pitter patter. He may be making a debut. Um, he was dancing to uh, he was dancing to the bread, the toast, singing to him. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I hope I hope he'll come <laughs> and he'll get some treat, some treat from you today because you are rolling sushi today. How are you feeling about that? I'm pretty excited about it. I'm 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 I've been doing um, finger exercises all morning <laughs> and. I know, right? um, wrist exercises so i'm ready yeah yeah <laughs> you're, you're more prepared than me for sure <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's great so lisa tell us yeah. about your background please ah okay well um uh my background is um so i was uh my biological mother was from newfoundland from an outport in newfoundland um and my biological father is italian from italy italian not woodbridge italian uh, <laughs> so um uh so i'm a, so but when i was uh, so i was adopted and when i was younger i didn't have any of my papers so i just assumed i was half irish and italian <laughs> I don't know why. I think I just assumed that everybody in Newfoundland must be Irish descendants. But um, anyways, I eventually found out, and it's more kind of a British background, but I grew up in the Okanagan. So mm -hmm. it's in British Columbia. And it is, um, and I grew up on a peach orchard. And um, the Okanagan is uh, uh, the only um semi-arid uh desert in canada so it's yeah. the end of the sonoma desert from california and so it's very dry it's very it's got sagebrush it's got rattlesnakes 
we found a scorpion when I was a kid. What? What? Yeah. We found a scorpion one day. I mean, it's it's that hot. It is that hot. And um, and big ponderosa pines. It's very deserty. Um, but beautiful and perfect for fruit trees. And now it's a lot of vineyards, tons of vineyards there now. It's beautiful. It's on Lake Okanagan, which is about a 90 mile long lake. Yeah. Is that where Ogopogo is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I've seen Ogopogo, yeah. You have seen it? Well, I, I saw something, but I, of course they say they think that it's actually sturgeon, um, giant sturgeon that have been in, in the lake. But I know over the years, right, it's like I had an uncle who saw it, I had a neighbor who saw Who knows what people have seen? They may have had too much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Or to the that, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's a lot of reefer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the BC, the great things about BC. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's, uh, yeah. It's re reefer and fruit out there. <laughs> yes. So tell us what the ingredient is for today's sushi roll. Today's sushi roll, uh, because uh, I wanted to honor where I grew up and all the million of peaches I picked as a child, um, and it's peach season, uh, the secret ingredient is pickled peaches. Yay! <laughs> Yay. It has, this is like handwriting. It says pickled peaches 2020. <laughs> pickled peaches. Yeah, I'm so excited. And as you were saying, Okanagan is so warm and it's a valley and and has lots of beers. There is a very, very um a similar thing happening in uh, at my my hometown too. My hometown in Japan is a yeah. valley and I grew up in peach farm and I'm surrounded by peach orchards and uh vineyards and we have so many wineries in my hometown. Oh, well, it's exactly the same then. <laughs> Maybe I grew up in Japan. Maybe you did. No, <laughs> you no. just didn't know. You didn't even know. I yeah, didn't know. But, yeah. So we have like so many wi wineries and people drink like more wine in my hometown than sake or like beer or anything. Like everyone drinks. Uh, and we don't, uh, older generations, they don't call it wine. They call it grape alcohol. And they just have it in like a green tea cup and everything. <laughs> just oh. like no more. Yeah. So well, you could drink a lot of you could go, oh, that's so tiny. I, I can have another yeah. one. Yeah, it's almost like a shot. Yeah. Now is it is is it um uh is it mostly white wine or red wine or both? We have both. I think the most famous one from my hometown is white wine. And they are winning some prizes and awards in France and like all those European competitions now. So I'm really yeah. proud of my hometown wine. But yeah, mm -hmm. I have tried so many like BC wines and like Okanaga is like so famous for wine and like fruit. So yeah, I was like always like picturing like Okanaga. I have never been there, but I, ha I heard about it so many times that like, oh, it must be like my hometown is how I felt. Oh, that would, well, that would be neat when you get there and to kind of go, does it have a similar feel or, you know? Maybe similar feel. We have a lake too, a lake, bunch of lakes closer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. So that is how nice. does that? Uh, I was growing up there like did you run around in orchard and stuff just like me uh <laughs> oh i uh yes i did run around a lot we had a we had a lot of work because we had to run the orchard and um i pretty much spent the summer in my bare feet running around the our orchard was on the side of a mountain and uh, so uh, pretty much just moving irrigation pipes and picking, I would pick furiously. Um, uh, our, our fruit um, came to harvest in later in uh, August. So the last two weeks of August, I'd be like, that's <laughs> my life was that. So right now it's a perfect time for this. It's a perfect time for this. Um, and uh, our, 
when my parents bought the orchard, they converted it to um, uh, an organic orchard. Whoa, so, that's really cool. Yeah, they were, they were I think, uh, more progressive than, uh, than a lot of people. And, um, and uh, yeah, so all of, our, all of our peaches were organic. We had chickens, so they kept the bugs down and all that, yeah. Wow, that is progress. How long ago? Like how long? Oh, that that sixty-seven, nineteen sixty-seven. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that is really progressive. I think. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Nobody else was doing. And the brand of peaches we had, they were called V's, like V E E, for Queen Victoria. Um, and uh, they were a very old. Now they would be called a heritage brand um they were the last ones they were free stones which meant they'll just come apart and they were honestly they were peaches were like the size of like baseballs they were they were very big none of this small business that you see here oh i worked at one of the factories when i was a teenager to like sort out the peaches and like pack them to ship and oh, yeah. those are huge too and i almost have like a minor tendonitis because the peaches are so big oh. that's another similarity <laughs> we have that's amazing now where would we where would uh where would japanese peaches be shipped to uh from my hometown everything goes to tokyo because peaches are expensive in tokyo only the rich people in tokyo can afford it oh well yeah okay yeah yeah that makes sense i mean it's a it's a very delicate um item right mm -hmm. because yes. our, and it drives me crazy okay for everybody watching this show when you go to buy a peach do not pick it up and squeeze it to see if it's ripe that is yeah bad but so many people do that and then the next person comes and then and then because the previous people have squeezed the peach they think oh it's ripe because it's all brewed now <laughs> because um, everyone's finger <laughs> everybody's like pawing the peaches so the thing you do you pick up the peach the end where it was connected to the tree you smell it if it smells like a peach it's ripe and it will be there's mary this is alan's grandmother oh hi mary <laughs> <laughs> so don't be alarmed that i cook around cats <laughs> <laughs> no 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 yeah that's a great tip so like smell the peach from this side don't <laughs> the peach. yeah mary yeah, please don't. Don't. quit digging your fingers and bruising the peaches and that goes for cantaloupe it goes for a lot of fruit if you smell it then if it's even if it's firm leave it on the counter for a day or two it'll soften up and it will taste perfect oh great tip i feel like i see that often in a movie like french movie or something like this smelling like the fruit <laughs> like at the grocery store the market i feel yeah. like i see that a lot in the movie <laughs> yeah because you know, they're more sophisticated they know you snip your fruit to find out if it's if it's ripe or not yeah, more sophisticated indeed. Yes. So let's get started and roll some sushi, Lisa. Are you ready? Oh, Ajani is saying, because peach sushi must be a world first. <laughs> are we the first? Are we? And today we are being a little bit more creative. So I got a bunch of stuff. So this is the pickled peach that Lisa pickled. I'm super excited. I haven't tried it yet and yeah i got oh, some okay. yeah a few other ingredients that i might put them in there and then she make it delicatessen so lisa i'm gonna open the can or bin uh is there rules to it <laughs> no rules. um just open it yeah just uh yeah top off the the, the rim and then yeah. use the you can use the back side you can no use the back side of your knife yeah and then you're going to catch it you're going to pull up on the silver lid oh like this yeah and then you're kind of pulling it off i can't open it <laughs> oh no okay so here this, yeah this. yeah 
And if it's too, if it's too unwieldy with um, the big knife, you can use just a little kitchen table knife. Okay, no, go, I go, yeah, go get a kitchen table knife. Okay, and a real challenge. So, where where you see the rim and the silver, where you see yeah. the rim and the silver, the the closest part, just put your knife between the glass and the oh. and the tin, oh. and then pull it up, and it'll break the seal. Closest part is here, I think. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen one come off like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. <laughs> okay, and then just Very get good. the one from the top. Oh, it's quite soft. Yeah. Wow. I just want to hold it as it is. Uh, <laughs> you can, you can taste. Okay, is this sweet or savory? It's a bit of both. It's sweet and sour because there's vinegar and sugar and then a bunch of, there's ginger, cloves, and cinnamon. Ginger, cloves, and cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... it's, it's closer to like perhaps a chutney or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I just have to try it a little bit because uh, I'm too curious. Yeah. Okay. Mmm, I see what you mean. Oh, so good. So yeah, good. you like? Mm hmm Oh, very good. Oh, this will be very good with, I don't know, brandy or something. <laughs> well, it would be, um, it would be really good with cheese and bread. Oh, man, I just have cheese right here. And look at my head. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many breaks. You're a party. You are just a lot of oh, party. I'm so ready. So Lisa is yeah. rolling, the, rolling the sushi as well. So have your uh, sushi mat ready. Oh, yeah. And then put uh, seaweed. We call it nori. Yes. Ready. Nori. And then put it at the edge of your mat. Yes. And now make sure your hands are a little bit wet with the water that you have right there yeah and grab some sushi rice which has vinegar sugar and salt in here i already mixed it for you and okay. make a like a stripe you're welcome stripe like this yeah okay yeah because it's easier to split the rice from stripe so make sure you cover all the edges and yeah, you only need like a one handful or even less of rice. Think of like rice having like unexpectedly less. Ah, is that Mary or Alan? That's Mary. <laughs> she's a real chatterbox. Oh, she's watching you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she doesn't know why I'm not paying 100% attention to her. <laughs> Okay, so split the rice and then cover all the edges because the rice is like the glue of the sushi. The ah. rice make, makes it roll and then keep it rolled. Okay. Yeah, and then all of the rice that's on your finger, you can just wash it off. <laughs> Use the water and hopefully you have the damp towel as well. I do, because you told me. Yeah. <laughs> you were very thorough. I'm so sorry, AJ. If you are watching, AJ, I didn't tell you, so you had to uh, eat the rice off of your finger. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then once you have the sushi, this base ready, we'll yeah. flip it. How is it going? Are you ready to flip? Good. Here, I'll show you. Oh, that's pretty good. Very good, very good. Okay, so now we're going to flip and oh i hear murray okay yeah. gonna flip yeah and okay. now you can put anything you want and i cut your peaches like a stripes yes yeah because you want to you want to cover all of the um the width 
of the sushi. So just have them all the way. Like right now, I'm, I have this much left, so I'm gonna just cut smaller piece and then maybe put it in the middle. Yeah, so cover the entire thing. Yeah. It looks like she orchard, orchard, how do you say that? She orchard, she orchard. Oh, she orchard. She orchard, it looks like that. And I love that thing. So now I'm gonna just experiment and be a chef. I'm gonna put some cheese. I'm gonna put some Portuguese cheese. It's called topo. I don't know if that's a product name or actual name of the cheese, but it said topo, cow cheese. And I got some capers. Just putting it the capers. And of course I have the homegrown parsley. So I'm gonna just put some of them, make it pretty with orange and green. Lisa, what are you putting in? Um, I decided to use some anchovies. Anchovy, how fancy, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, uh, just because I thought with the salt and the sweet, it might be nice together. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. Um, <laughs> Mary, is that the happy sound or the sad sound? No, it, it's hard to know with her. It's just the sound. <laughs> um, and then I sprinkled um, sesame seeds, toasted sesame oh, seeds. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a delicatessen. Okay, I think I'm ready to roll. Okay. How's, how's yours? Yeah, do you want to take yeah. a look? Okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, I can see the sesame. Great. Yay. So how we roll it is this edge that towards me will only cover, like go up and only cover till here. You don't go all the way. Just oh, until no. here. Yeah, so I'll show you. Just roll and then push the ingredient inside and oh possibly came out <laughs> just push 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 and then come only until here okay so you have like this like margin of just seaweed and rice just seaweed and rice yeah make sure you push the ingredient inside and then after that you pull the mat up and then yeah. keep rolling, 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 wow. and then cover the whole thing and just tighten it, kind of push. Oh, keep this is where the push. skill comes in. This what? This is where the actual skill comes <laughs> actual in. Skill. This part. Yes, I learned this in the restaurant. And then Give it a push, almost like a square. You don't need to feel like it's like a, a round, but like square. Yeah. And then open, ta-da. Just Ta -da. keep it coming up. <laughs> yeah, and then as I asked you, do you have sharp knife? Yes. A sharp knife? I, yeah. I sharpened my knife last night because you told me to. <laughs> Great, you follow all the instructions, perfect. Oh, I'm a, I'm a rule follower. <laughs> so prepared and now so you can trans, uh, put, put your sushi roll onto the cutting board and yeah. how we cut it is first cut it in half like right in the middle and go soft a little by little go back and forth back and forth instead of the, just like pushing it down because oh. that will squeeze the sushi too much and once once you cut it in half yeah. the side that's cut will face the same way so flip round them Okay. And now you cut them in thirds. Oh. Okay. A little, wow, this is so soft. The peach is so soft. I'm excited. Yay. Oh, cool. You got it? Yeah. And now to plate it, the, the cut, there are two, two of them, two rolls are cut both sides and one side has the thing sticking out <laughs> yeah yeah so the one that has the cut the side of cuts both sides yeah stick it up like stand up yeah 
and then the side with like things sticking up is hard to stand so flip it and then put in the middle oh. and plate it i like to put them a little angled so it looks fancy oh i know i was gonna yeah how's that going lisa it's good it's good i'm trying to be fancy <laughs> okay and i'm just putting some parsley and tomatoes and just making it cute right now and i am ready how's yours i'm good i'm ready too okay i'm gonna show mine so this is pickled peach sushi okanagan style yay Beautiful. that's pretty isn't it that's that looks pretty very good. nice yay okanagan style very good very good lisa oh, how's no. yours how's yours um oh yeah <laughs> I made, very little, nice. I made a little mountain. Mountain. Very nice. Very nice. I love the square plate. That's beautiful. Thank and, you. And I got soy sauce, of course. But I also got some olive oil just to honor your Italian heritage. And I thought it goes really well with peaches. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I have seen like um okanagan um website of uh, like tourism website they have peaches like grilled peaches with ricotta cheese and olive oil and basil and like it, it looks like super italian to me oh so, yeah they, you're right it does yeah super italian. got got inspired by it a little bit of olive oil yeah how how are you ready to eat beautiful yes for yeah. sure okay so let's try it and i always ask sean to put drum roll so no one has no no one has to hear us chewing oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so sean would you mind putting the drum roll please yay let's try it itadakimasu Very good. How's yours? I like that. Um, mm -hmm. Peachy go. Peachy go. Oh. <laughs> mm. Very nice. I like that. Did you put lots of vinegar in the pickle? Um. Yeah. There's um. Oh, I don't know. Maybe four cups of vinegar or something in it. Mm, it's perfect. I think the rice also has vinegar, so like it matches that for sure. And I am, um, I put some cheese in there. It's perfect. And olive oil, cheese together. Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah. See, I would never have thought of using cheese in sushi. Oh, it's whatever you want. You are doing more, <laughs> more than cheese. It's peach. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it makes sense That's right because the, the rice is such a nice um um uh, not quite neutral uh, taste but it's 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 not fighting with a, a ton of flavor so you can put anything on it mm -hmm. how's the anchovy how was anchovy it's good it's really nice actually because with the um sweet of the peach it's nice it counteracts the salty and then the um the sesame seeds give that little bit of toasted flavor, which is really yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Very Coco good. Coco says watching the taste test is my favorite. <laughs> but That's Coco, so I'm good. sorry, you cannot try it on your end. I'm so sorry. It's so good. You can imagine. <laughs> can imagine. imagine. <laughs> Oh, you rolled it pretty well, Lisa. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, it looks tight. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, it's tight, baby. It's tight. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Oh man, I, I have a good teacher. Good teacher. Oh, thank you. Tell me more. <laughs> that's good. Um, peaches can be like sweet or savory. Like it's so versatile. Um, yeah. it, it really is. There uh, and the um that idea of grilling them is uh it's it's a good compliment because of the sugar in the peach it gives a nice nice flavor to the to the peach yeah with the like heat it becomes like warmer warmer warming up the fruit makes it sweeter maybe yeah 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 i think i think you're right then if you like have warm do that and with some ice cream oh my gosh oh. So <laughs> I need that. Oh my, you know what? I'm going to just go get ice cream. So I have this peach and I'm going to just have it together. <laughs> oh, well, you do with it what you want. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Very versatile peaches. Very good. So thank you so much, Lisa. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me on and for rolling sushi, uh, rolling peaches in your sushi. Yeah, as AJ said, maybe it's the world first. Who knows? Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe it is the first. But like, I, I think it was the world class tasting sushi. Yeah, I think our, ours was the best tasting. Mm, and best experience. I'm so happy we did this together, Lisa. Me too. Thank you so much. Oh, what Mary. Really fun. Just to bookend it all is Mary. <laughs> and happy birthday, Alan. Mary, tell Alan your grandson happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if anyone's watching right now and had a lot of fun, please take a look at the donation link right here underneath. It's baddogtheater.com slash ayakas. Uh, hyphen kitchen and yes bad dog theater is doing so much for the community and actually so much for the world that now everyone can watch this uh bad dog comedy tv from anywhere in the world so let's support bad dog tv bad dog theater and coco and yeah just keep the shows running donate money and keep the shows running and sean is behind this whole thing doing all the tech and yeah he's the one for the ego sound he's the one for us having so many cameras so thank you sean thank, sean, you, sean. thank you yeah and lisa thank you so much you are so nice to me all the time and you're like I don't know, the mother to everyone in this like <laughs> community, comedy community in Toronto and, and uh, around. Like, yeah, so yeah, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us oh, always. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I would be I would be honored to have a daughter like you. Oh my, oh my. So you're my Toronto mom now. Official. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Official. <Yeah. laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Lisa, and thank you, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.